just tapped. And we're needing a bucket. It's overflowing our five gallon bucket. We tapped our five maple trees on Monday. And this is our collection since then. I just finished collecting tonight. The five gallon is the red one. The other ones are a little over five. So in a day and a half, we have already enough to start our first batch. So I will do a video once we get cooking it down and show you guys how we do that. Y'all have a good night. All right, we're on to the next step of the syrup making process. This is our evaporator. We made it out of an old wood burning stove. Cut the top off, and we had this custom stainless pan made. It's right on top. You can see, we keep it burning wood all day, and you can see it uh, steaming off right now. Still pretty clear though. It'll start to get more of a, a brownish, cloudy color as it burns off, or as it evaporates off more. And this here on the side is the cover that if it starts to sprinkle or at night we put it on just to make sure we don't get bugs or any sort of stuff in it. And it just sits on top and leans to one side so that all of the um, evaporating water collects and just runs down the side. So, yeah, just filling up our fire and getting it back going. Still steaming off. As you can see, it's getting more of that uh, cloudy, darker color now. Got her going again. So hopefully later today we'll be able to move this into a pot inside and I'll be able to finish it off. Syrup is in from the evaporator. A little more than we expected so I'm going to boil down two at a time and then combine them once it gets close enough to putting it into jars. I have combined both pots into one now and we are very close to our final product here. I have my jars all ready and washed. I'm going to let it cook down just a little bit more and then it'll be time to put it in the jar. Last step, I take and dump one of my jars in hot water. canning you leave a little bit of headroom at the top of the jar there we go strain it through I got a little bit left it's kind of thick yeah, and then put that there forgot my rag Next, I take a rag and I wipe the edge, just a little wet paper towel. That way there's nothing where you want your jar to seal. And we put our lid on, our ring on. Do it now, hand finger tight. And then I put them upside down, just like this, on my rack. And the heat from the syrup will seal I leave them overnight like that, and in the morning you can flip them over, and it should be sealed, and you're ready to go. About 25 gallons of sap that we cooked down, and this is what we got. These are 8-ounce jelly jars is what we store it in, and here is my cloth. This is why I use the cloth to filter the syrup through, because it collects all the little bits of ash, and any other sort of stuff that could have fallen into the sap while we were boiling it outside. Um, helps keep it nice and clean. All jars are cool and I have flipped them over and I checked to make sure everything's sealed. All of them are sealed. So my next step will be to take the rings off, write a date on the top, and they go into storage. So I hope this video was helpful to anyone looking to do their own maple syrup at home. Um, hope you enjoyed.